ground one their way. And Fairgrounds does ground one to Hager. Hager to Barnhorse. Barnhorse over to Mac. Six to four to three for the double play to end the first on deck for the Big Red. Here's the 2 2 from Colin Fang. Ball swings and misses. That's two big strikeouts for Fang. And he goes one, two, three in the bottom of the first inning. Off the plate. You never know if you can uh, just influence the umpire a little bit. You know. It was a pretty good pitch. Hamill working quickly. Strike three, looking, that ends the inning. To Mac, in his first plate appearance, it squares to Bunt, he's fast, he can get down the line. Wall will throw over to Mac, not in time, run scores, RBI. They can come back to bite you. It was a leadoff walk, two quick ground outs that moved Liebrook over, as that one's in there for a called strike three. The one, two. Quatrani lasers that out to right field, going back is rounds, and that one is gone! A lot of the soft contact that he generates and a ground ball to maybe get himself two outs here. There's the offering, strike three called. Still two strikes here on Ben Rounds. Crucial at bat. The pitch, that one swung on and missed. Beautiful breaking ball there. Full. Here's the full count offering, Wall lines one into the gap. This is, could go for extra bases. Ball is at the wall, and Wall will have a stand-up double. Here's the first pitch to the plate, and that's swung and past the third baseman at Berger. That's an RBI for Mack. Runners will hold at first and second, but it's a one-run game. Here's the 3-2. Barnhorse, there you go. There's your ground ball to the middle. They're satisfied with him scoring, and Barnhorse is thrown out. Tough play by Rickheim, but it is an RBI, and Cornell takes their first lead of the day. Here's the first pitch to Cooper. That one grounded softly to Barnhorse. Barnhorse over to Jensen, and that's the game. Cornell takes the game and the series six to five.